a cafe and I'll read you the description for you in just a second. I'm holding up my iPad so you can see the original photograph of it and I wanted to show you a uh, opening day menu item. Come on. This round. Come on. Don't know if you can see that very well, but this is a, this is a ad that was in the paper. It says New China Cafe, and you can see they put a nice description of their building. So you're right on the, the edge of New Chinatown. So let me read what this says. It says Egg Fu Young, fifty cents, pork and egg noodles, twenty cents, chow mein, thirty-five cents, roast pork fried rice, thirty-five cents, sliced roast pork, twenty cents. And it says on the bottom, it says 18th and Q Streets is where we're at. And then it says orchestra music. And if I'm remembering right, isn't that a self-playing musical instrument? I wonder where that's at. I, I'm going to, I'll tell you in just a second. It, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Is ask them if they know. Okay. So George Toy was born in 1906 across the street from the site where it would become his father's cafe. As a small child growing up in downtown Bakersfield, he chased rabbits up and down 17th Street, shot quail on 18th Street, and went to the, the ditch that's behind us to go for fish. When he was 22 years old, his dad, uh, Ty Dai Toy, told architect Clarence Cullimore what he wanted in a cafe. Cullimore was an architectural teacher at Bakersfield High School. And as, where is Stephen Humphreys at? Raise your hand, Stephen. Yes. Stephen's back over here. Uh, as Stephen told us this morning, uh, Cullimore is responsible for the renovation of the Mexicali restaurant into what it looks like today. What year was that, Stephen? 1957. 1957, thank you, sir. And yes, and several things, including the everyone knows about the one on California, the city tour down. I just have to mention that every time. It still ticks me off. 5.30 in the morning, thank you. It was the uh, the wash, the cleaning supply place. French Laundry, the, the, the city tore down at 5.30 in the morning before any of us could react to the being tore down. It's right by the movie theaters. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. All right. So Cullimore gave the building a distinctive hipped tile roof, lining the bottom of the facade, a row of green, a row of green tile with ornamental Chinese characters. The walls are Flemish bound brick laid in a crisscross pattern of red and black design a design that has survived even the 1952 earthquake. So Toy operated the cafe until 1965. Paul Dennis bought it in 71, leasing it to several people, including Golden Empire Ambulance. And today it is the Jasmine Tree, Jasmine Nyree Day Center, a private uh, child daycare center. Oh, is that who's paying for this? Okay. Joey Porter's daughter is attends this place, the, the football player. Jasmine Tyree, that's her name? Oh, all right, we'll see, there we go. First thing out of the box. Uh, let's walk down, let's go bother the people at the Smitten Cafe. What do you say? <laughs>